Hey guys, welcome to A Pinch of Salt Gaming. I'm here with Bin as our resident ninja. Yo. Adam as our resident shit talker. Hey yo. And Ryan as our lurker. Love you. Love you, Ben. I, I know you. <laughs> That's not what you said last night. Alright, so let's get into this. Um, you, you, you just run straight into the uh, yard. Yeah, screw the birds. birds. We got here. So where do we leave off? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, previously on Afro Samurai, you got knocked out by a big dude. Uh, there was a cutscene saying we're going to go get the number two headband, which we explained in the previous episode. Let's him challenge the number one, and then we woke up on a bridge. Okay, cool. This is like a flashback, I'm guessing. Yeah. If you notice, his sword's super damaged compared to the one he's currently using. Right. Well, the one he was using last episode, you mean? Oh, yeah, because I'm assuming this is a flashback. Right. Right. Yes. Come on, get with it, man. I'm with it. Oops, I missed it. I'm hit. Have you tried cutting their heads off? Silence! Is that better? Oh, that man. would. <laughs> that feel good? I felt amazing. Ooh, we'll run. Vertical jump onto the. Okay. You're meant to grab the lever. Got it. Pull the lever, Ben! <laughs> this almost feels like Where's a the lever? not That else. way. This Ooh, way. Onwards. Onwards so, and upwards. This almost feels like a non ridiculously difficult version of Ninja oh. Garden in the 360. Oh yeah. my god, have you guys played Ninja Garden Black? Uh, yeah, I've played I have Black. not played Black. I played the original. Oh, I, I played the original. Playing as I, well, you as should you look for the lever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bicker about Where is this leather that it mentioned? I uh, wasn't paying attention. Ninja Ninja button. Which was the down? Down on the D pad. Down on the D pad is the sass talking one. There you go. <laughs> <This way. laughs> yeah. That never gets old. <laughs> Mental yeah. note: When like, designing a game, put it a, a ninja to give you directions in it. No, just put Samuel Jackson in. <laughs> I feel like I'm lost again. How do you get lost? You yeah, the answer to that. <laughs> but it's just. All buildings that all look exactly the same. Jeez. Find the lever! Oh, what yeah. lever? Wrong lever! Yeah, what? Well, what? Well, what? You have to wall run. Up to there. Come on, press A to wall run. Oh, nice. Hey. 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 It took me long enough. Whoop! The you guy was about to shoot the bomb at my face. Cut him up. Oh, missed. Missed? Had That's just embarrassing. I Every time very you do that, I feel ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Yeah, Bean's only skilled in ninjutsu, not in... Not yes, playing as a ninja. <laughs> the hunt for the lever. There we go, success. Now you got to pull the other lever. Great success. Where's the other lever? I have no idea. Other side of the door? Other side, maybe. No? I'm no? just making shit up at the moment. I didn't think there was another lever. Oh, yeah, there's can a thing you can walk across. All right, can you do it? I don't know. Oh, Ooh, there we go. go. Oh, yeah. So, um... That was straightforward enough. Adam, you were saying that this was animated by someone or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, this is a, um, this wasn't animated by, but there was, uh, this is one of the few games done by, um, uh, Monty Ohm, who was a, uh, an animator on this game, and, uh, a lot of work for Red vs. Blue, and a series, created behind a series called Ruby, which, if you haven't seen it, check it out, it's amazing. Um, so you, what... Your top ten anime included? Or well, I don't, is, want, is, I don't is, watch a lot of anime, but it's actually really good for people who don't usually watch anime and want to get into it. Is it because, technically anime, or is it uh, well, like Western it's, produced? Well, it's Western produced because okay. the company's in the US. So it's Western produced, um, but oh, it's like Korra style. Yeah, but it feels it feels very oh, like even more anime based than Korra though. It, 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 okay. it, it, it's got a very strong. It's like uh, it has that anime feel to it still very much. Um, it, it's a good. It's a really good show. Um, but, yeah, I'm just. I would like to point out to everyone watching. Yes, I know Korra is based on Chinese as opposed to Japanese, but it's the same point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm getting whipped. Oh, jeez. Oh, I tried hitting him. Silence. Yeah. So. Good, good. But yeah, you definitely watch it. Yeah, really, really was fantastic. Uh, fantastic show. Um, they're in their second volume at the moment. Uh, I think you might really want to fun. focus down the uh, big guy. I think these guys keep spawning until you... Ah, okay. Let's yeah, do that. Yeah, I would say, but you can kill these guys for health if I remember reading them. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty sure you gain health back by killing people. So I kind of just cut him in half and did the focus. Which wow, was, yeah. Nice. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth as ice. That's me. Jeez. Okay, you like destroying his armor, maybe? Alright, uh, you get to kick him. Uh, maybe you have to go for his unprotected part, like his leg. 
Yeah, I get that. I then or his head. That's also good. That works, that's good. That works as well. But his head clean off. You could just kill him. I just wanted for like Indiana Jones to show up and shoot some. Um. So this guy in uh, any other games I've been in. Um. No. Uh. So mainly he's uh he's done a lot of animation, a lot of stuff online. Um. There we and, go. And uh, this is one, one of his made first uh, major um video games. I, I could be totally wrong, um, but I, I believe it is. Um, Monty, unfortunately, like, uh, passed away uh, last uh, this year, I believe. This year. Really, really sad. Um, like, cause, uh, I'm, uh, we're going to be plugging everyone else's stuff anyway. Um, I'm a, personally a massive uh, Roost Teeth person, been in the community for a, quite a while. Um, and yeah, that, that rocked the community pretty hard and, you know, everyone misses him still. But um, yeah, very talented person gone way too soon. Bring the bring the episode down a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a Cheers. bit of a bummer. Yeah, but, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh well, we miss, well, we miss you, Monty. I'd say, and your legacy lives on. Yeah, it's a fu- This is a fucking awesome game, and uh, yeah, check out all the Ruby and Rainbow Six Blue related oh. shit. That's my plug. That's my plug. Shameless plugging, dude. Like like you need to plug Red vs. Blue at this point. Yeah. Oh, much better. Yeah. <laughs> Boom's just like, now that they have showed up, I can cut people in half. Oh, I missed that one. Oh. Like, oh. So the X does the horizontal. And um, y does the vertical. Slice, the y does the vertical can one. Can you try and cut someone literally in half? The vertical one is much harder to get yeah, right. Well, then stop sucking and hit it. <laughs> What's that really like? Oh, that's kind of like this is temple thing, which was really cool. Yeah. Especially the giant pop thing. Oop, missed again. God damn it. <laughs> so you were saying before, this is, this is anime, right? So yeah. This was produced in, in Japan. <laughs> yep. Despite, um, being does kind it, of does, does, it, does it have to, yeah. does it have to be produced in Japan in order to get the title <laughs> anime? Is it like, yeah. is it like Champagne in France? And yes. Yeah, that, that's a very it's a contentious, topic. contentious topic where people are like, oh, you watch a cartoon? No, it's anime, god damn it. Well, and then there's the whole debate of what's the difference between the cartoon and anime. Right. Mm. Anyway, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I have no idea where I'm going now. Uh, pick a direction. Ninja Ninja buttons. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Every direction except that one being your no. How? What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was the right direction. In your face! <laughs> Saved by the bell, man. There you go! Oh, there we go! Yeah. There you go! Baby. It's been done. <laughs> Felt like that shouldn't have been a, that have been an achievement. <laughs> Look, cut your first man in half. Well, I got an achievement for cutting someone's head off. Head so off. That, that went really well. That's awesome. Uh, so I feel like this theme is gonna be deadly to me. So, what games are oh. we feeling this takes inspiration on? Like, we got Ninja Gaiden earlier. Um, it's got a bit of a hack and slash vibe as well. I feel like I'm gonna jump onto this thing. Well, then so. try it. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Perch, jump towards objects. That's what you did. That's Maybe exactly can you wall run or something up to it and get I more high? Wall run. You can perch on it. Go on, try it. Try, try again. Jump towards the object. Hey! Oh, yeah. Success! That is actually pretty groovy. That's awesome. And this is very Ninja Gaiden like. We've mentioned Ninja Gaiden a couple of times. I think a good point to make is Ninja Gaiden is probably one of my favorite games ever. Yeah. Um, oh, it's one of my favorite games as well. It, it makes me angry. But... <laughs> I just want to clarify, clarify, guys, that these guys are talking about the crappy new version of Ninja Gaiden. New version? No, Bin's played no, both. I'm oh, talking, uh, I'm talking like, OG games. I, I loved the original oh, stuff, good. and it's then good. I loved the new version on Xbox. It was amazing. I, I love all versions. Oh, I'm sitting here. So this stuff. guy was a Sega. Yeah, yeah. Ninja Gaiden for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Ninja Gaiden, everyone seemed to complain that it was particularly hard or difficult. I didn't find it. I was, oh, I'm fucking boasting, I'm not, I'm not boasting here. I, I will, I will admit there were points where just the basic minions would run up and just own my shit. Yeah. But I got through that game pretty well. Is and this is the first one you're talking about. Yes, the on Xbox, the first one yeah. on Xbox. The, um, see, that's what? the thing about Ninja Gaiden. It's just super fair. Oh, oh yeah. it's the platform that I was we'll, talking about. I um. I think for Ninja Gaiden, I played um, like I managed to beat the first one on Xbox. Uh, yeah. On 
normal, I think. And yeah. that was, I did it on easy, I did it on normal. That's as far as I can yeah. get. <laughs> um, um, I tried on hard and couldn't get. Well, the thing is, that game, the first level is arguably the hardest level in the entire game. Oh, yeah. The okay, no. The first level. I, will, I will admit, that took me forever to get past. Like, I had to retry that, like, several times. Like, cut off both his legs. And oh, then cool. after that, level 2, level 3, level 4, I'm like, oh, this isn't nearly as hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, even, even, like, spoiler alert, it's an old game. But it's, um,. The final boss in that game is the guy that you have to train against, the, the boss of the first level. Him in the first level of that game is actually harder than him as the, as final, the final boss of the entire that game. Is true. Which just seems like really bad. Just <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Do they, yeah, that's really bad difficulty curve. Well, it was. I mean, it was bad. It was. It was a fun game. Though. Okay. It's, a it's game. not necessarily bad design because it could show how much you've grown as a character. That's the thing. The reason it, it, oh. the reason it's heaps easier at the end of the game is because you have all these skills. Oh. and keep the shit out. Yeah. Of you. Where at the start you don't have a lot of skills and you just get worked and you have to learn how to use the basics. Right. To a really high level. It's like the classic thing in Mega Man X, how when Zero saves your ass at the beginning. Yes, yeah, exactly. And you're just like, what is that boss? So why can't I hurt him? Plugging another awesome game, Mega Man X. We've been talking about every game except for this one. <laughs> hey, how are we talking um, about this game? No, we're talking yeah, about. Final it's conclusion, my final conclusion about um, Ninja Gaiden is that yes, it was. I enjoyed it. I didn't find it as difficult as everyone claims it to be, but there were bosses that absolutely. Frustrated so crap. Guess what game we're bringing to you know, next one. <laughs> I am keen to play some Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> right, this is cool. Uh, okay, so are we wrapping up for the time being. Let me, let me oh, just. No, I think, I think so we can keep up. All, so there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll I'll clean up these chums and then. Oh no, it's these guys. Oh my god! How could you get a kid like that? Too? Silence. It's hard to follow all the sound effects, but the music in this is really awesome. And that's, yeah, that's one point that I made earlier on to the guys, that I absolutely love this music because it's an awesome mix of hip-hop and traditional Japanese, Japanese music as well. And it's done by the, the RZA as well, which is just amazing. It's yeah. just like some awesome. So I'm like I said, you seriously need to watch this. Is there like a focus button you can use? It's so good. Whoa. I love the cuts they have as well. Thanks for that reminder, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't well, you have a, I, I win now. <laughs> like a BFG, but for a soul. Hey, wow. Hey, holy shit. Feels good. So, what I found is you need to get them down to a certain amount of health. And then mm. at one point you can just finish him off with a nice sweet. clean sweep. Oh, oh look. What's going on here? Alright. Well, I guess we'll so. find out next time on a pinch of something. Oh, in Ninja Gator. <laughs> Ninja Gator. <Gaiden. laughs> I mean, Apresa. Samuel now. L. Jackson <laughs> edition. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Catch us, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.